question this morning is to the Premier. Premier, in Saturday's London Free Press, your Minister of Health claimed that she didn't know why the Ministry of Health used an irrevocable trust agreement which would have allowed two Liberal-friendly groups to pocket up to $40 million, this despite the fact that she personally signed off on two separate renewals. Premier, I have since learned that this government set up irrevocable trust arrangements in a number of ministries over the past 10 years. Premier, will you immediately order every ministry to disclose how many trusts were created, what organizations ran them, and how much taxpayers' money was involved and possibly pocketed by groups that may be affiliated with the Working Families Coalition? Oh, Mr. Speaker, I think that the um, I think the member opposite is talking about the uh, nursing retention fund. That's right. Um, and when we took office, uh, hospitals were running massive de deficits, and they were signalling uh, layoff of layoffs of nurses as a result of uh, PC cuts, Mr. Speaker, and that was unacceptable to us. So um, we took action to reverse that drain, Mr. Speaker, on our nursing workforce, and uh, we put strict controls on the funding that was put in place in terms of the uh, nursing retention fund. The Minister of Health has been working to uh, see what we can do to make sure that the nursing retention fund is utilized, Mr. Speaker. Um, but you know, I think that really what the, uh, what the member opposite is doing once again is undermining the work of organized labour in the province. That's really, that's really what this is about. We put in place support for keeping nurses in the province. What he wants to do, Thank Mr. You. Speaker, is to undermine that relationship. Thank you. The uh, member from Sarnia Lambton will come to order. Supplementary. Uh, Mr. Speaker, back to the Premier. Premier, we know that it is extremely unusual to uh, use an irrevocable trust to fund government programs. Premier, this morning I met with Ontario's Auditor General in follow up to my letter requesting that her office immediately launch audits on all irrevocable trusts that this Liberal, Liberal government has set up and maintained. One of the documents I turned over to the Auditor General is confirmation from a Ministry of Finance official that over the past 10 years, these types of funds were set up in at least seven government ministries, Whoa. including the Ministries of Education, Whoa. Aboriginal Whoa. Affairs and Agriculture and Food, three ministries that you know quite well. Sounds Premier, like will you confirm this morning that you have never set up or help maintain an irrevocable trust Question. during your time in Cabinet. Nice. Mr. Speaker, the, the point of the nursing retention fund was to make sure well, that, that's, that's what the question is about. It's about it's about the purpose of setting up such a fund. In, in I'll have to take direct action, I will. Premier, finish. So the 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 uh, member from the P in Carleton is warned. The member from uh, Eglinton Lawrence may be one. Carry on, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. In January, the minister, the minister met with the nursing organizations to uh, to talk about how the uh, uh, the fund was being managed and to make sure that it could be used in the best way possible to retain nurses. That's what it was about, Mr. Speaker. And what the the reason the member opposite is an, is asking this question, as far as I can tell, is that he wants to undermine the reputation of confidence of these groups. His quote from uh, April 28th, Acting Premier, the most generous possible in interpretation of the nursing retention fund boondoggle is that the RNA, RPNAO and Answer. ONA are utterly incompetent project managers and cannot be trusted to serve as stewards of taxpayer Thank money. You. So, Mr. Speaker, this... Thank you. Stop the clock. Given some thought, I'm going to ask the member from Lambton, Kent Middlesex to withdraw and the member from Bruce Gray Owen Sound to withdraw. One at a time, please. I withdraw. Thank you. No question.
Remember from 